Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guide. Whoa, hello. Okay. We'll start with that card. All right, this is for the sign of Aries for November of 2020. Cards falling out. Wow, all right. What's going on with you guys this month? All right, uh, is this, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to say welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Thank you for sticking with me while I took a break in October to recharge. Um, as you can see, I'm getting these videos out early. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Dee. I'm a spiritual empowerment coach and master healer. And I help women heal from toxic relationships through really diving deep into our childhood and releasing the energy around traumatic events, um, even like non-traumatic events as well. So I also do have a new program out. I just re revealed it. And it is called Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance. So if you're ready to really connect to your higher self and, um, you know, call in that manifestation or even trying to manifest but nothing's working, we really dive deep into subconscious beliefs in this program that are keeping you held back from your manifestations. So definitely if you're interested, early bird pricing does end on November 1st. Um, so no exceptions about that. So make sure you check that out in the description box or in the comments below. Let's get started. So overall energy here and november the guys you're my last reading so november has been a very strange month there's probably only two or three signs that are having like a really great month most of the other signs are kind of their energy is a little bit maybe either all over the place or negative um which makes complete sense because of the year that we've had so your overall energy with this is, a, is the five of cups. So again, it's looking at the things that have went wrong this year versus the things that have went right. So, and again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. They're general. Check out your moon and rising signs. But it doesn't even need to be specifically about this year, but really kind of question yourself. Like, where are you being really negative? Where are you focusing on what didn't happen or what went wrong versus what went right. And this is really about gratitude and focusing on the positive things. Now, in the beginning of the month, we've got the Three of Swords, we have the Four of Cups, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So again, broken hearted here. Got three knives, three swords really in your heart. Need a little bit of a break from that because I feel as though if you have been broken hearted, now again, this could be romantic, it could be you lost your job, however you have felt defeated or that like somebody has kind of hurt you, maybe intentionally or unintentionally, but definitely there needs to be a break from this because you're moving very, very slow from this or you're in it, right? So this, the five of cups here is you're in this emotion of feeling brokenhearted, but it's time to kind of step out of that and take a little bit of a break from that. Start to focus on the positivity. What did happen this year? What went right this year for you? Uh, maybe it wasn't what you expected or even what you would even think of went right before everything happened. But definitely slowly moving here. So I do feel like you're slowly moving out of heartbreak. Now, in the middle of the month, which I absolutely love. So... The rest of this energy is absolutely gorgeous, okay? So really, really so important to look, start looking up, right? That's what I'm hearing, start looking up. Um, now, I'm just gonna run with what they're saying here. So when I say start looking up, it could literally mean up. Like start looking up at the stars, start looking up at the moon. We have a full moon coming in um, the very last day of October here. So moving us into November. So start looking up, start resonating with the moon, with the full moon. It's all about releasing. What do you need to release in order to start feeling more positive and better? In the middle of the month, we've got the three of wands. We've got the six of cups and we've got the lover's card. Beautiful energy. So you're looking in this crystal ball. And now what I feel like, which I love, there's three cups right here. There's three wands right here. In this one, you're looking at all of them, wondering what happened. Why didn't they work out? In this one, they're behind you and you're looking forward. 
See the difference? I love that. And in the middle of the month, I feel as though you're giving yourself your light back. You let go of something here. You let go and you're trying to connect back to that inner child. You're trying to connect back to that happiness. Even if you weren't happy when you were a child, because I work with a lot of people that are not, um, including myself. But when you give yourself your light back, this is like being that child again and being a child, we'll say, and playing and dancing and enjoying life and not having to worry about much. And with the lover's card here, this is going to strengthen all of your connections in your life, all of your relationships. And the most important one that it's going to strengthen is the one that you have with yourself. Because you're going to be trusting yourself now. You're going to be listening to yourself more. Because at the end, you've got the hermit card, you've got the high priestess, and you've got the king of swords. So this is about going within. This is about your intuition. So like I said, you're going to be connecting to yourself more. And this might even bring in the spirituality side of yourself and really connecting to that higher self. So some of you are definitely going to be joining my course this month about really connecting to your higher self and understanding yourself more. And with the king of swords here, this is about you're going to start to create more boundaries in your life, not just in relationships, but in all areas of your life so that you can feel better and look, start looking up. <laughs> you can start looking up. I love that. I love how they're bringing that to us. All right. Uh, let's see. What other messages do we have for the sign of Aries for November? Yeah, so unfulfilled expectations, five of cups here. Five of cups, five of cups, very clear message for you. Unfulfilled expectations are kind of an illusion because our human side was expecting it. Our ego was expecting it. But the universe might never have even had it in your journey. Think about that for a minute. We've got the four of swords here, recovery and retreat. We're going to put that in the middle of the month here, as well as with the top. But definitely retreating from this, this, these thoughts here, that things didn't work out the way you wanted them to, or that they're not going the way that you want them to. Let go of the expectations. Let go. And here we go. You got the nine of cups. This is relationship bliss. So this is about, again, this lover card and really bringing... Um, solidifying is the word that I'm getting here. Solidifying your relationships, the good ones, the ones that you are grateful for. You also have justice, honorable choices. So getting what you deserve and you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be looking at the good here. So definitely getting justice for everything that you've been through. And usually, you know, by the time we get here, we have our spiritual awakening. There's usually a reason so you're getting justice for everything that you have been through in your life here as well. And not in a karma type of way, but more of like, you know what? I've been through so much. I'm ready to be happy. And I'm getting, you're getting that justice for yourself. Oh my goodness. Why do these cards keep coming out? Let's see. What questions? These are my soul truths. Soul Truth deck here. And what questions does Aries need to ask themselves this month? Wow, I'm feeling the energy of like, just keep going here. Like, we're not ready to choose. We're not ready to make these big choices. Ooh, I love that one. We're going to go ahead and go for two. All right, so we have, how can I surrender even more in this moment? And it says, it is essential to have clear, strong intentions of what we desire, but it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room to work. Let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet, but you know it's coming. Today's sole action is know this. So deeply that your soul vibrates. You are not alone. Your life has purpose, and the more you surrender, the more God can produce miracles in your life. Today's mantra, I surrender, I accept all that I cannot change, I release the outcome, and I joyfully trust the process. 
we're going to put that right here on this line. <laughs> How can you surrender more? How can you trust that the universe has your back and that it's not all your control and that you literally have no control? You know, it's a song by like Carrie Underwood where it's like, Jesus, take the wheel. We get so fed up trying to control everything, trying to force everything that finally we give up and the universe provides. This also happened, a little personal experience, but this happened when I was trying to conceive my children. Each one of them, it took a year to conceive, and each one of them, I gave up and was like, okay, this was not working. And therefore, a month later, I was pregnant. So it's when we give up, and we give up trying to force it, and we give up the control that the universe allows it in, okay? This is what we also learn in my manifest course. Name all the things you love. Are you one of them? Today's mantra, I give myself all the attention and love I need. So a lot of people, name the things you love. Most of the time, you're not on that list. So as we went over here, the self-care and connecting back to yourself here is definitely self-love, self-love. All right, so I hope that resonates with you. Um, if you do want to join my Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance, you can check that out below in the description box or the comments below. I also do have my From Pain to Power mentorship, which is where we really dive deep into the childhood to release the, the negative thinking, um, feeling like everything's going to always go wrong, the control issues as well. So if you're interested in seeing if you're a good fit for that, you can check that out in the description. There's a questionnaire there that you can fill out to see if you are a good fit. Um, but other than that, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if this resonated with you. And let me know in the comments, like, how are you surrendering more and how did this resonate with you? And I want to say much love to you. Have an awesome November. Remember to give yourself your light back here, to be that child again, and to start enjoying life more. Focus on the positive. All right, much love to all of you. I'll see you soon. Bye.